Hey everyone, so Jared here with Vibe Infusion again, and today we're going to talk about genetically modified organisms and what they are and why they're not ideal. Now, the World Health Organization states that a genetically modified organism is something where the DNA has been adjusted for a specific purpose. So you can look at um, a lot of crops and common foods have been modified and a lot of it is for uh, so that they're resistant to pesticide spraying which obviously not ideal you don't want to be able to crop dust a crap ton of products and still have them not die so that's kind of what they're doing is they're creating these um, these products where they can just come in and blast them with roundup and a lot of other really bad pesticides, a lot of which have been proven to cause cancer and serious issues, just so that the crop survives and their loss per cycle is minimal. So that's what they're doing with a lot of these genetically modified organisms. And they're more common than you realize. I have a list here which I'm gonna go through. The most common GMO crops. So here we go. Soybeans, USDA, shows that 93% of all soybean crops are genetically modified. That's crazy. Um, they're pretty much engineered to be resistant to herbicides and they're found, uh, I mean, soybean oil is in pretty much everything. So when you're looking at uh, a product, look at it. If it has soybean oil and it's not organic, chances are it's genetically modified. You're gonna find it in dressings, mayonnaise. Um, soy lecithin is used extensively from bread products to supplements. So be careful when it comes to soybeans. If you are gonna get soy or edamame or tofu, make sure it's organic. Otherwise, there's a very good chance it's been genetically modified and it's unideal. Another one, um, canola. Canola oil, uh, it's also known as the rapeseed crop, which is a very weird name. Uh, 90 to 95% of this in the US is genetically modified and it's been engineered to be resistant to pesticides and be able to tolerate heavy pesticide crop spray. That's not good. It's found in a wide variety of processed foods and bread products. So again, when you're looking at oils in a product, soybean and canola, unideal. You wanna see olive oils, you wanna see uh, coconut oils, you wanna see uh, palm oil if it's sourced ethically. Also, again, if you do see these, make sure they're organic so that you know that you're not getting these GMOs. Corn. 88% of corn crops in the US are genetically modified. And the reason they do that is so that, again, they can be resistant to this heavy crop spraying. So they're coming in with the plane, dusting these crops in a crazy way. And so that's what they're trying to do. Um, corn products such as corn starch and corn syrup are used extensively in processed foods. And sweet corn is, now this is crazy, Sweet corn is modified to produce its own insecticide. So they've genetically modified sweet corn so that it has an insect killing gene known as the BT uh, corn or the bacteria, it's bac Bacillus thuringiensis. And what this does is it kills the, st it, when, a, when it's ingested by an insect, it kills their stomach. So it, it opens up their stomach and they die from the inside, which is gross and terrible, but that's, really bad for us as well because it's been shown that this BT toxin can also damage our cell walls and cause them to open and rupture. So you do not want sweet corn that is not organic. Um, be very careful of that because the fact that they've engineered it to have its own insecticide in the food is kind of crazy. Um, cotton. 94% uh, of cotton crops in the US are genetically modified, again, to be pest and herbicide tolerant or resistant. Um, Hawaiian papaya, 50% of the crops in the US are GMO, and that's been so that they're resistant to the papaya ring spot virus. So this one, they're making sure that papayas don't disappear, and that would be unideal, so I understand that one. Uh, potatoes, 10% of the potato crop in the US is engineered to be pest resistant. Um, so again, they don't want to lose a lot of the crop. This one's interesting. Sugar beets, 95% of sugar beets are the Roundup Ready variety, which means they can come in and spray the shit out of these uh, sugar beets. Sugar beets are basically, um, it's a form of sugar, same thing like a cane sugar, 
Um, now I did do some reading online and found that cane sugar or sugar beet sugar, any kind of white sugar, which is sucralose, um, when it is broken down to the sugar molecule, it's the same whether it's from a genetically mod modified crap, crap, a crop or a non-genetically modified crop. Um, so in that regard, it doesn't really matter when you're buying a sugar, but still just for general health purposes, it's better to avoid it than to not. So you wanna make sure it's genetically modified. So you definitely wanna avoid GMOs, they're, they're unideal. Uh, you're gonna find them a lot when you're in the center aisles of the grocery store. That's where you're gonna find a lot of genetically modified ingredients and foods, uh, cookies, crackers, cereals. Um, I mean, if you look at Honey Nut Cere Cheerios, it says right on the box, contains um, some genetically modified ingredients. So you do just have to be mindful of what you're eating and what you're putting in your body because it's important, it's very important for long-term health. So that's why you don't wanna be consuming a lot of these genetically modified ingredients. And the easiest way to avoid them is organic. It's really important to eat organic. Another thing you wanna be mindful of, you can be getting all these, you know, you can get your organic veggies and everything, but if you're just buying generic meat, if you are a meat eater, if you're buying generic meat, you're, you're screwing yourself because think about it. What are they feeding the cattle? If it's not grass fed, if it's not organic, or if it's a fish, if it's not wild caught, they're feeding it feed, which is gonna come 100% from genetically modified crops because they're cheaper and these large companies are all about the bottom line. So be mindful when you're eating meat or fish or even dairy as well when you're eating your eggs. Make sure meat 100%, spend the extra dollar or two if you can afford it. Get the organic, get the grass fed, get the free range, get the pasture raised, get the more premium um, product when you're eating your proteins because it's very important for your health um, and your family's health. So make sure you're doing that. And um, if you found this to be helpful, then subscribe below, leave a comment, tell us how much you like it or how much you hate it. Um, and that's why you should be mindful of what you purchase and why you should avoid genetically modified crops. Thank you.